Riding a motorcycle over 150 miles an hour is certainly not for the faint of heart. Uh, a lot of things are happening very quickly. Serial number one was our prototype. Jay Leno bought serial number two, the first one we sold to the public. And I was sort of the R&D dummy on it. Ted would say, drive it, and if anything seizes or falls off or breaks, I'll take care of it. I said, oh, thanks, Ted, I appreciate it. There's nothing like riding the most powerful street legal bike in the world to work. Helmet. I mean, he rides that bike. He's probably got about 8,000 miles on it, and, uh, you know, he loves it. You know, it's like being with the wrong woman. You know, you, you shouldn't be on it. It's not the right thing to do, but gosh, it's a lot of fun. In addition to the helicopter engine, the bike features some additional bells and whistles. A computerized dash unit monitors the bike's vital signs and performance. Everything you'd have in a jet, exhaust gas temperatures, tachometer, generator, and then you have five pages of information you can scroll through. Racing around at 200 miles per hour might not be for everyone. Is there anything dangerous? Yeah, it's a motorcycle with a jet in it. It runs on jet fuel. You can't get more dangerous than that. But on the danger scale, it's on the lesser side of danger. To keep the riders safe, the bike features a high-tech rear view mirror, an in-dash LCD monitor. The reason we have a flat screen monitor is you're not gonna look behind you and see what's behind you 200 plus mile an hour to rip your head off. While the bike's rider may be safe from the heat of the engine, the general public is not. He's got a license plate on the back of his now, beware of jet blast, and it all lights up and digital and everything. If you are lucky enough to see the Y2K in action, Jay Leno jests that you should keep your distance. A guy, and I believe it was a uh, Infinity, um, it was right on my tail, and he kept inching up to see what it was. And I could see in my camera that his front bumper was made of plastic, and the exhaust is 1,400 degrees. So I could just see it go just slowly melt into this glob. And I, I was trying to pull away, and he kept inch, inching up, and I'm trying to pull. I just see and well, <laughs> the whole front end had melted. And by that time, the light changed, and I was gone. While the MTT jet bike reaches speeds of over 250 miles per hour, to break the world record of speed, you need to go significantly faster. Back at the Bonneville Salt Flats, three teams face off in their quest for the motorcycle world speed record.